بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is your brother of the Rahman from Japan On the last episode I have mentioned the importance of the nature to the people of Japan as well as their core philosophical belief Shintoism Today I'd like to dig in a little further and show you how the tradition evolved over the past two millennia. There is an interesting story associated with the 16th emperor Nintoku from the 4th century. One day as he looked out from his palace, he realized there were no smoke coming out of the any chimneys of the houses of his people. He claimed that it must be because his people were so poor and there were nothing for them to cook. He declared, therefore, exemption of tax for next three years. He became very poor himself, of course, but after three years, he could see once again the smokes were back on those chimneys. He told his wife, We are glad to have become rich already. His wife answered, How strange you should say that. Our palace is falling apart. Emperor explained to his wife, Listen, politics must be based on the people. Our people are rich, so we are rich. Delighted with the success, the emperor has extended the exemption for three more years by which time his people were volunteering to repair his palace. This is a parallel to the theory of economics of the 14th century Islamic scholar Ibn Khaldun. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent messengers to every nation. Around the 6th century, Buddhism were introduced to Japan. Buddhists gained the support of the emperor And today, there are almost as many Buddhists in Japan as there are Shintoists. Christians, on the other hand, did not pay enough attention to the native culture and were banned from Japan for more than 200 years. So what can we learn from this as Muslims? First of all, learn from what works in Japan. Some of the ways people do things are encouraged in Islam but not implemented completely in Islamic world. So be a witness as to how successful you can be when you follow the way of Allah, knowingly or otherwise. Secondly, there are certain manners required in Japan or the entire community of Islam in Japan will be threatened. And we certainly do not want that, do we? In the coming episodes, inshallah, I'd like to tell you about the stories of the arrival of Islam in Japan. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep on receiving information about Japan in the future. Jazakallah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.